Friday, day 109, the second walk of the day. I put the camera on, we'll get going. Just finished part one. This is part two, I mean, not part one, the first walk of the day. Did over a mile, and now I do a mile to get back home. All right, start to start the timer. Put in your guesses how far I'll go, how long it'll take. <clears throat> Did about 1.05 in that first walk of the day. This is the second one. See what we see on this walk. Saw a couple of old cars almost parked side by back to back, Dodge Dart and a Ranchero. They were both kind of a ugly brown. They both seen better days. I mean, you're both from the early 60s. The Dodge Dart on had taillights look like from the 50s, so I don't know. That was in the first video. How many muscle cars will we see in this one? I put the over under it. Oh, we only, yeah, I say, I don't know, two and, I haven't been seeing a lot of them. Two and a half, we'll set it a little low this time. We really only saw, saw two in the last one but they were both one was driving by and the other one was a block away so I don't know if it really counts I didn't walk by it <coughs> so we'll see what we see in this one see if we can go over two and a half a pretty boogan purple bougainvillea white roses iceberg roses nice combination Bougainvillea looks beautiful this time of year. Loves the sunshine. It's not sunny today though. Cloudy. Pretty warm. Probably 65. Been walking against the... They got all kinds of little statuettes out here. Look at this. They got a Buddha. A Buddha on the back of a bicycle. Two kids with an umbrella. A dog that says no pooping. Two frogs drinking coffee. Two snails an owl, and then two kids. Is this a kid? Girl and a boy? A boy and a girl? Look like they're from the 20s. Maybe turn of the century with that waistcoat. Interesting. Well, a big hill I gotta walk up. Never walked on this street before. I don't know if I've ever even really driven on this street. I walk a little bit different parts of the neighborhood time to time that's a Japanese maple there I believe not sure but it looks like one I told the story yeah I'm pretty sure that's a Japanese maple got two of them that we used to have one when we lived in Louisville and I told the story of a, about a, two weeks ago that a neighborhood dog came and dug it up kept trying to dig it up and the neighbor said, put mothballs in the dirt and he won't dig it up. And he put mothballs in the dirt and the neighbor <laughs> tied mothballs around the dog's neck. <laughs> I don't think it worked. He was a crazy guy. It was a green, it was a SUV truck, SUV truck, I guess. Chevy 350 Blazer. I don't know wait, when that's from, in the 90s? Yes, 80s, 90s? Not sure. 80s, I think. Very green. So uh, people like green. So that pea green Toyota a minute ago. Here's a half a car if you're only going on a half a trip or something. Short trips. Fiat. They even have a back seat if you can believe it. I don't know who would fit back there. Half a person. Come somebody with their lights on bright. Can't even look at them. Warmed up. It's definitely heading east is warmer.
Well, no muscle cars. Hopefully we'll see a couple. So far, zero. Quarter of the way in. It's like no wind right now. It's almost going to get hot. The kind of blue house. Never really walked in this part of the neighborhood before. Well, if you're playing along, write down how many days in a row this is for you. Where the most unusual place you've walked or what the most unusual, interesting thing you've seen. What your goal is of trying to do. Thirty days in a row, or sixty, or ninety. That's how I started out. Now I'm over a hundred. I think I'm going to try to do another hundred more. See how it goes. Summertime, it's warmer, easier to do. I walked a few days in the rain. One day, my shoe came off. It's kind of nice houses. One day my umbrella blew inside out eight times. One day I saw a crane, stork crane. There's all kinds of stuff in the rain. These purple flowers here are nice. Got a lot of them. Could have done their whole yard in them. It's pretty. House from the 60s, I guess. It's starting to get hot. And only a third in. Whoa, uh -oh. somebody took uh, chalk and colored their stucco, kids did. Oh boy, sure they got in big trouble. Probably hard to get off the stucco. cars Here comes a VW bug haven't seen any of those today it's the turn of the century I don't know what year it is something from the last 15 20 years though 15 I don't know Big American flag there, that's nice. They're mowing their yard, it smells nice. The VW. Let's see what the back looks like. Uh, like the last 10 years or so? I don't know. It's an old car up here, but it's covered. Not gonna find out what it is. Unless I can tell by the wheels, which I seriously doubt. I'm missing a wheel. The thing jacked up. They get out of the road. And it's a uh, no, no, it's not that old. No, no, it's a oh, just an eclipse. Huh. So I just want to cover it up to try to keep the dirt off of it. Never know how to pronounce this car. I O N I O Q six. Kind of sleek from the back. 
I don't know what it is. I don't know how to pronounce it. Iona. A pink door. I don't think I've ever seen a pink door. Look at that. Pink. I've seen aqua and orange and black and blue and yellow and red, purple, green. I don't think I've ever seen a pink one. First pink door. Woohoo! A red letter day. Pink letter day. A pink door. I've seen about every other color door gray, white, all flavors of the rainbow. But I don't recall seeing pink. Seen a pink house. A few of them. Uh, they got a couple nice little balconies up there. At three. I'm sure they never go out of them. A lot of people use their balcony. It's just for show. Oh, it's kind of interesting here. You got a lot of fence build up. All I got a little deck in the front. A lot of people don't have decks in their front yard. They have decks in their backyard. They got a deck in their front yard. I guess they come out here and sit and have a little fire pit, I guess, or I don't know, have dinner little outdoor party. It's pretty neat. <sighs> All right. Halfway down. Halfway. 0.57. Comes the door dash. No muscle cars. These two streets have not bearing fruit for muscle cars. Surely we'll see one. Sure we'll see one. It's a BMW. I don't like the front. Front looks too thick. It's not sleek looking. Headlights are kind of sleek. I don't like that big grill. It's too thick. Looks like a truck. Let's see what the back looks like. Kind of, back's kind of nice. Kind of like the tail lights, but I don't like that big fat grill. Makes it look too bulky like a truck. Somebody sitting in their truck. Always somebody sitting in their truck or car. There's a Mustang up there to see the back of it. I don't know if that really counts. Might be the only thing we see that some semblance of a muscle car this time. We'll see. But it's not looking good for the home team. A lot of people have these little library things. You put a book in and take a book, share a book. I've seen at least two today, that second one. See them from time to time. Not every walk, but I bet I see one at least once a week. I don't think there a lot of people share books anymore. I saw a girl reading a book the other day. It was in that $12 million. It's a cop car. <clears throat> right here, it's an old cop car. Crown Victoria or something. Doesn't say. Police interceptor. I knew it was a cop car. Um, we're looking at that uh, $12 million, $12.5 million house for sale. We went inside and the real estate agent was sitting there reading a book. Uh, Stephen King. Girl. Was reading Stephen King, waiting for people to come in. House has been on the market at least 50 days. I had made a video out of it about 50 days ago. It was pretty neat, gorgeous. Um, views of the ocean, beautiful. Gotta check that out. It's only 12 and a half million dollars. Hello, little guys. 
couple of little guys. Three dogs, hey buddy. Four dogs. I had all kinds of dogs barking. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> they are all excited. They're like four dogs or something. I gotta head back. Where am I at? Thinking about heading back up this street here. I don't know. So we go one more street. The dog. <laughs> He's barking with a ball in his mouth. <laughs> old. That's a 58, I believe. Lincoln Continental Mark V. I've seen it before. I can never really get a good view of the front. 58 Lincoln. I've seen a 58 Lincoln, 69 Lincoln, 47 Lincoln. Unusual. That 40, it was a 47 was a factory. I think it was a V12. Last year they made a V12. Factory yellow. It's a big car. Saw it at the car, car shop, car garage, car shop, car mechanic. That was beautiful. Really good shape. I looked it up. It wasn't really that valuable. I think you could buy one for under 40,000. But that was, I think, a 47 or 48 Lincoln. Back there was 58 Lincoln. And then at the that same car shop, they have a 69 Lincoln they're trying to sell. I'm trying to sell it for a couple months, three months, four months. Not having much luck. But I've seen that 58 Lincoln before. It's always, they always got it parked outside. I never can really see the front because it's parked right up against the garage. I think in one of the early videos, I tried to get close to the front of it without a lot of success. All right. Making the turn for home now. Let's see, no must well. Saw the back of that Mustang. Here's a Mustang, 66, 65 Mustang, black. So we'll say two muscle cars. A black Mustang, 65. First year they made them. Well, actually, they got fuzzy dice in there. Uh, 289 Mustang. Seen better days. They had one at the car shop. It was an old Maverick. It's an old Maverick. White. Early 70s. Two vintage cars. 65 Mustang and, I don't know, 70, 71 Maverick. Uh, at the car shop one day, I saw a, uh, they had a uh, beautiful Mustang. I don't think it was a factory color, it was repainted. Well, I don't know what year, what, uh, like a maroon red, but it was, uh, well, like I said, I don't think that was factory, but it was beautiful and it was a six, it was on the license, on the uh, license plate holder, it said 64 and a half. But I know that wasn't a, didn't, Mustang didn't really recognize that as an official year. They called it 65. Because they never say 64 and a half. But it's, a, it's officially, it came out in 64, but it was officially a 65. So never hear anybody say I have a 64 Mustang. Because they recognize 65 as the official year of the first inaugural year of the Mustang. The 53 is the first year of the Corvette. And I saw one of those too. Only 200 in existence. Polo white. I saw polo white. It was at the car shop too. They were working on that. 53 polo white Corvette, inaugural year. And then they had that 64 and a half 
red maroon Mustang, which is officially a 65. Oh, that was pretty cool. And that was a looked like a 65 Mustang. And um, I don't know, 71 or 72 Maverick. White Maverick. I used to have uh, I think a green Maverick. Could probably buy one new for $2,500 back in that when it was 72 or something. Let's see if I can get across the street here. Yep. Saw an Indian uh, motorcycle, Indian scout motorcycle here. It's over there on that side of the street. About a month ago. I seen two Indian Scout motorcycles. Well, I don't know if the other one was a Scout or not, but I think so. Those are unusual. The unusual to see those are not that common. They used to make them, I don't know, 50, 75 years ago, probably 75, and they were really popular. I used to show them all the time on that uh, show American Pickers. The one guy was always looking for a Indian motorcycle or parts. Then they stopped making them for a long time. And now they brought them back. And I've seen two. I've seen two of those. Triumph. Uh, I think I've only seen one Harley, maybe two Harleys. Yamaha, Honda. Triumph. I think that's a BMW. That's about it. Still looking for a Kawasaki. I don't think they make them anymore. Kawasaki lets a good times roll. All right. That was a good commercial. They seen two muscle cars, two Mustangs. One was far off, block up. I don't know, it was a block up. It's a couple of street up, maybe. Let me see the back of it. We saw that 65 a minute ago. Will that be the most interesting thing on the walk today? Let me know at the end. Go back and see what Ranger's up to. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every day. 10 a.m. Always something interesting. Here's a motorcycle up here. I'm not gonna see what it is. There he goes. Looked pretty cool though. But I don't know what it was. Never know. Another policeman, what is going on? All kinds of cops. Let's see if we see one more muscle car. I usually see one go by around here. I see five Teslas. One. Nope, just one Tesla. Think we're gonna see any there's a Tesla number two there's a muscle car Hemi Dodge Hemi three muscle cars I see about five Teslas waiting there, but nope. I walk down the street, I bet we see five before I get home. Here comes another one, three. 
Ugh, ready to be home. So that 65 Mustang might be the most interesting thing. I saw a few dogs. That one house had like five dogs, but they didn't seem friendly. They like the friendly dogs. There goes a the Tesla 4. Probably see another one. Yep, number five, right there. Five Teslas in two minutes. Three muscle cars in a mile and a quarter. Kind of warm. Well, if you haven't started walking, write down your goal in the comments. You want to do a, start off with just a half a mile a day. Try to do it for a week. Say if you can do something every day for two weeks, then you, you've created a habit. So then it gets easier. Half the battle is just getting out, getting started. The walking itself isn't that bad. It's like 10 minutes out, 10 minutes back, you've done a mile. Today I did two. But usually I just do one. see what Ranger's up to today. See if he ate all his food. Give him his flea medication this morning. He did not like that. He hasn't had a good run. Had to have the... Uh... All right, that's it. If you guessed 1.37 in 27 minutes and 38 seconds, you are the winner. Good guess. And that's it. Let's see what Ranger's up to. He had to have a flea medication today, which he hates. Had to have a uh, thyroid shot. Or uh, what did he have? A uh, you doing in the hut, buddy? Yeah. You sleeping good today? You are. Did you eat all your food? He had to have a shot the other day. Then he had to have his blood taken about three days ago. Not enjoyed the vet. He's been losing weight. Now you got to give him a thyroid pill every day for the rest of his life. He's eating, but he's not keeping the weight on. Overactive thyroid. You went down? All right, that's it. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe. We'll put a link to a video, uh, another video you might like. That Saturday video was really good. Manhattan Beach was Sunday. Something every day. All right, that's it. New video tomorrow, 10 a.m. See you later.